Hey guys, it's me Rohan Singh and today I'm going to talk about a very different topic than I ru- usually do. This topic is about the chapter which I find the hardest in class 9 math. This chapter is none other than the infamous circles. Now, I have a very complicated relationship with circles. On one hand, I consider it to be a very important chapter, especially for class 9th, class 10th and all the upcoming classes, even for college. But on the other hand, I also find it a very hard chapter and something which I don't personally like solving and, you know, even understanding. I have no interest in circles at all. It's one of my least favorite shapes for some reason. I know it's very subjective, but to be honest, anything about shapes is subjective. And the fact that in class 9th you have to learn basically everything about circles in one solid, you know, huge chapter is kind of, you know, unappealing to me. And as a result, even before I read the chapter, I was in a pretty bad mood or, you know, bad state of mind. When I first, you know, started reading the chapter, I thought that, okay, this might be a really good chapter. Maybe it'll change my mind about circles. Maybe I'll really like circles after this. But what happened was the opposite of that. I hated circles even more because every time I looked at a circle, it reminded me of this uh, horrendous chapter. It's probably one of the worst chapters for me. I know things like these are varied, but whenever I go online and whenever somebody asks, what is one of the hardest things about class 9 math? Um, 95% of the time, the words circles and the chapter circles are included. Many people say that this is one of the hardest chapters to do and at first I disagreed, but after reading through it and trying to understand what this chapter is saying, I agree, it's one of the hardest chapters because this chapter includes those type of questions which I think are one of the most, uh, you know, repulsive out there. And these are the proof questions, the infamous proof questions, the ones which many people seem to avoid. We've got the normal algebraic expressions, you know, in which you have to prove that, okay, does this theorem prove into this? But this is a very different kind of proof. In these type of questions, you have to prove, okay, is half of AB plus BC equals to AC plus rc you know things like that i'm just giving you an example but if you read the chapter and by the time you reach exercise 10.5 these are the type of questions that be there the majority of the questions Uh, it's not like the chapter is easy by any means no the chapter gets pretty complicated by the time you reach exercise 10.4 and by the way this is only the ncrt version if you go to the rd sharma it's a whole different ordeal by the time you know if you open the rd sharma chapter you'll notice and by the way this is uh, not a joke if you get if you have the rd sharma then please go to the circles chapter and then just check how many pages it has it has over 100 pages Uh, there are more uh, there are there are less pages in uh, history than there are in this uh, chapter. In fact, uh, the biggest chapter in history, Socialism and the Russian Revolution, has less pages than Circles does. It's insane how many uh, pages this chapter has and how many concepts it introduces. And these concepts are hard to grasp and even hard to implement. Again, this is subjective, but I think still, but I still think it's something that's common, especially among my classmates. 100 pages in R.D. Sharma, that's insane, especially for a class 9th chapter. I expected this from class 11th or 12th, but I was wrong. I got 100 uh, pages in just a class 9th chapter and Circles was the one to do it. No other chapter does this. No other chapter in any other subject or even in class 10th, in fact. It's such a huge chapter by that even just staring at it makes me, you know, fall asleep because it just tires my brain out thinking what I'll have to do for the next two or three hours. Now, the problem with proof questions is how many of the things you'll have to implement to actually get the answer. And I know that just because something is hard doesn't mean that it sucks. It's uh, quite different actually. But again, this is my personal opinion and why I think it sucks. And here's the thing, some chapters, especially, you know, chapters like probability statistics, coordinate geometry, Euclid geometry, you know, all those things are small chapters which barely show up in the exam, you know, you solve the questions easily, they'll give you five or six marks and that's it. No, circles is not like that. Circles is a huge chapter and 20-30% of the paper, uh, of uh, of the paper, especially if it's uh, periodical, then it'll definitely be, you know, covered with circles. A lot of the questions will be of circles. And of course, if you don't know how to solve, so, you know, or understand how to solve the questions on circles, then you won't get marks. So not only was I basically being forced to learn this horrendous chapter 
I'll have to, you know, do it diligently. By that, I mean, uh, revise and understand every single part to get the marks which I want, which was very tiring and scary as a thought. This chapter has scarred me. Another thing about this is how many theorems it introduces. I don't think polynomials has, you know, another chapter which has many theorems. Even BAT doesn't have as many theorems as circles does from cyclic quadrilaterals, from its own theorems, from one set of theorems to the other, how many, you know, different type of theorems there are, how many, how many type of definitions you have to be aware of, what theorems apply to those definitions, how to identify those definitions. And the, dif and the amount of questions that can be taken from this is insane. Like you could solve a thousand questions, thousand different of questions, and you'll still be surprised by many questions which you didn't even know could be possible from this chapter. That's how many questions are there. And it depends purely on the people who make the exams to pick which, which one comes which. And in circles, the questions are mostly difficult. These are mark scoring chapters. And if it wasn't a mark scoring chapter and something which I'll just be able to, you know, even if I skip the question, I'll barely lose three or four marks then I would not be making this video. Many people also say that, uh, you know, chapters like triangles and quadrilaterals and even surface areas and volumes are more, you know, different or more hard than circles. But I disagree. The thing with uh, triangles though, that it's a small chapter. Many people, it's big compared to the others, but it's still compa uh, small compared to circles. You can digest it within a month if you really take your time. So it's possible to do it. I did. Quadrilaterals is harder than triangles, but it's still doable. You can, you know, uh, just quite memorize many of the questions and basically regurgitate them out when you're writing the uh, exam sheet. So there's a way of going through uh, quadrilaterals. But with circles, it's just not possible. Uh, many of the ways which I've tried to, you know, learn uh, the chapters of mathematics, they just don't apply to circles, and that's why I hate them so much. Many of the things which I know do not, uh, or how to solve the questions, do not apply to circles because uh, those questions I just solve them. You know, prove them a little bit and that's it but in circles I have to go through so much just to prove one point and then using that point I'll prove another point and then using all those points I'll prove the final point and the final point will have to be proved using other points it's a mess and yeah that's all I have to say about circles thanks for watching my rant basically this is an outlet for my hate of circles and it's a very sad thing that this chapter will reappear again in class 10th. In this one, there are the board exams. And basically, because of that, I'll be forced to revise the chapter and totally learn it 100% again. And I'm not, you know, uh, very happy about that. I still get nightmares every day. That's why I'm not able to sleep. That's why my eyes look so tired. Because uh, every day I wake up in a cold sweat because of the thought of this haunts me. Yeah, but anyway, subscribe and like if you enjoy my videos and goodbye.